like Elise. This is going to have to be Ambition having a day out or some massive teleport plays from Cuve or... I mean, the Ellie game is just wide open. Going for Svenskin right here. Svenskin jukes out because he knew he was close. Really good read. Still taking damage, but he's actually going to come back in. Cube is under the turret, but he's actually just out of range. And Sven, the minions might even look back in for him. Minions doing yeah, damage. Coming first. Cube. So it's Garrett getting to it again. Right to the queue. Whoa, they got him over. They've got Cube first blood. TSM a big shot. Starts him over the wall. Ambition repels down to his death. Also with the second kill. Off the stun finally with a Q. But because he's getting pushed in, he really likes a higher uh, spell damage Q. All in. Yeah. Ulti does go in for a crowd. Dead! Bjergsen with a perfect calculation. Really nice solo kill from Bjergsen. This is going exactly... And then if you look at their draft, what they're allowed to get here, they just have so much pressure in the lanes. Answer. Yeah, Bjergsen's Looking to be here fast himself. himself. Looking for the stun. Does get the first one. Bjergsen chains it in. Kube, not going to be the target. He's overheated and Bjergsen grabs another. And again, Bjergsen suddenly is tough, because guess what? He Just could to really close the distance fast, and Sven Skaren's entering another lane, and it's crowned now. Oh, good stuff for Bjergsen! Flash kick! Ulti all in, and Sven gets the next one! Ah, it's like seeing Faker all over again. Just a long distance queue heals. Got Bjergsen ahead. Now Sven's in a little bit of trouble here, because there's still some teleport Right failed. in! Good combo in there, Sven is going to go down, and Bifrost might have saved him! Safe cuts to safety! My bit up hell! Double lift! Takes out Rafe on the other end! He's getting chased by Cube, but Bifrost will pay the price as Ruler gets the trade. Just the first kill on the board for Samsung. Not much else to speak of. Not going to be able to take down Double Lift either. Teleport it off the Accelerate. Crown just can't move off this at all. In fact, they're going to go for a dive. Ambition forced to repel out of the way, but they might still go for a good pull from Wraith. Might be enough to defend and double his firing shots in the enemy team. Wraith takes a lot of damage, but Bjergsen all in onto Ruler and chunks him down. Who flashed forward, really wants to kill, and he does get it. Horns that came down as well. TSM all inning for the bottom turret. Not done, actually. Bjergsen going to juke out the ulti as Crown barely shorts the chain of corruption, but. I don't quite know how they get out of this one. Let's find out. Crown going to get knocked up here. Sven kicks him into Bifrost. Horns is here as well, and he flushes the wall, but double it. Swoops in to clean him up as Horns gets credit. That was the problem. If they sweep right now, they don't find any wards, and they're really going to start doubting themselves. Like, are these guys playing with, like, six cents? But they're starting Baron right now. Here's the panic from Samsung. Kube. Crown oh. actually eats the damage. Oh. Also, Protobelt on his face and dies. Now flushes towards Kube for the stun. The Zonus is good, but I don't think it's going to save him. And Horns grabs the double. That also works. Just start the Baron, guys. Yeah. So far ahead, but the game isn't over. Samsung Galaxy is certainly doing something right. His ambition, maybe caught, repels out of the way, goes back down to Sanskarin. He gets kicked back in, stun up with the cost. Can got the blows, and Bjergsen blows him up before the Brawl Mall come out. And now Haunt is going into the back line. Wraith getting tied up in the front, forced to flash out. Cube practically dead as TSM surge forward for a couple kills. It was just straightforward stuff for T and back. Because remember, they did have that Baron mission, yeah. but at some point you're seeding too much. At some point you're giving too much over to TSM, and now the Baron is free. Yeah, they're basically afraid of what's the top two. There are people that think that RG and Samson will make it out, and TSM won't. Ooh, Kratz actually maybe catch you on the bio, but TSM a little too far ahead. Tower's already broken. Spent trying to kick one in, but Bjorkson just blows up Ruler. Gonna get kicked back in. His ambition as Spent dives in onto him, and that's just carnage in the Samsung Galaxy next in space. Yeah, people getting smashed right now with this Baron buff. They just put the ba battering ram in front of the base and just going in. Let's up, boys. <laughs> well, it's maybe about time for the next start. It's going to start to get broken. Cube barely any help to play with. His ambition getting dove on as well. TSM going to complete the ace here. His ambition goes down to Honsa. A double kill for the Canada. Steal the deal. And TSM going to win their first game at Worlds. As up, like I said, TSM should be very proud. Excellent control display against the Samsung team that, of course, picked up a victory yesterday. And this is the TSM that people were talking about in scrims. Yeah, because the game stalled out, we honestly didn't pay enough respect to just how well Bjergsen played that early game and how well TSM as a machine translated their leads from the pushes into the skirmishes. And for me, Svenskern is still the MVP for that blind, Face check, dodge into the brush, you know, juking once, getting the cocoon out, and then Hanser and Svensker and tag team with Bjorkson to get that 2-0 kill leap, and that's when they start snowballing. And despite the fact that you remember Svensker and dodging around lanes, getting a lot of ganks off the